Are you tired of seeing regular boring cars every day, watching them on YouTube, seeing them out on the streets? Well, Chagin's got the remedy for you in this crossover SUV right here. This is the Chagin Unity. I'm going to bet you dollars to donuts that you have not seen this particular design out in the local market just yet. Chang'an calls this this starship design. you got your DRLs right here on top. you got your LED headlamps right here. Some people might decry that, hey, where are the fog lamps? Well, because of the position of the headlamps right here, right below, definitely don't need fog lamps anymore because you got this nice looking front end. Now the hood here has these nice character lines that kind of sweep in and kind of blend in with the DRLs. And if you notice the hood here isn't really flush with the front bumper. Instead it has this layered kind of look giving it a little bit more dynamism with the overall look of the car. And the fun never stops especially here right here on the side. I like how this subtle really wave-like character profile or character line sweeps from the headlamps all the way right here to the tail lamps and gives a little bit more details here as well on the floating roof line. But what really catches my attention with the Chang'an Unity are those huge 20 inch alloy wheels. They're colored in this gunmetal black or gray color and I really like that design. Give me a little bit more sporty credentials are those really thick Continental Max Contact tires. They are 245 40R20V tires and they're really grippy, especially out there on the road. And check this out. The door handles are actually flush with the bodywork. It does get some taking used to in order to open it up. You gotta press this button right here and it flips out right open. And all you do is just pull on the handle and you're good to go. You wanna close it down, just lock it up like so. Right, before we continue talking about the exterior of the Chang'an Unity, especially right here in the rear, try to appreciate this particular color scheme right here. This is in this white pearlescent scheme that really glistens in this morning sunlight that we're having right now. It's been raining for the past couple of days and I only get to appreciate it right here. I mean, look at it, it's quite a looker. The spoiler up top is a split type of a spoiler. It's really aggressive looking. Check out this V-shaped split on the upper spoiler. It's really really tries to evoke the Chang'an uh, logo right here. You see this V-shape here? These tail lamps, these clear blacked out tail lamps is really reminiscent of a lot of premium sporty Japanese branded uh, cars out there. And I really like it. You got these reflectors here on the side. You got more of those vents. Those aren't going anywhere though. And the, of course your quad exhaust. There's a quad deep exhaust. They, they, do are, they really are functional. This you got holes underneath them and you can see the mufflers right behind them and a really aggressive looking lower diffuser right there. It really is nice looking guys. I mean, look at the, how sharply raked that is. That might not be beneficial, especially for cargo. Let's check that out right now. You have a power tailgate function and inside you've got a lot of this space to work with. You can actually put some heavy items inside here as well. So without having to worry about you know, ruining the material. And if you need even more space, you can fold those rear seats down in a 60-40 split configuration. There's a lot for me to talk about, especially in the exterior of the Chang'an Unity. Bottom line is, it really looks great. You have to see this out on the road and you wouldn't believe it comes from Chang'an, but wait till, you, wait till I show you the interior of this thing and the way we drive it. So yeah, let's take a look inside. All right, so inside the Chang'an Unity, the first thing that's gonna jump right at you is how premium everything looks. First of all, you got this leather wrap steering wheel. It's made of this nice quality leather. You can actually see those hard thick stitching right here all around it and the Unity badge right there at the bottom part of the D-shaped steering wheel. It is a fully adjustable steering wheel for both reach and brake and it adjusts itself right back up to my favorite position, which is bus driver mode, meaning you got the steering wheel right up there easy for me to control. Now you've got this nice huge touchscreen infotainment system that unfortunately does not have Android Auto, but it does have Apple CarPlay, which uh, we can finally use 
right here inside. You do have this digital gauge cluster as well. It has the same resolution and size as the touchscreen infotainment system and gives you all the information that you need. The dashboard has this soft touch material on it. You got the same stitching right there. Now the center of the dashboard is my main concern with the car though. It is made of this plastic material and it's kind of reflective, especially when uh, the sun hits it directly and then it catches your eye, but it's fine. It, it actually breaks the monotony of the overall look of the dashboard there. Now here, the HVAC controls, thankfully are not capacitive. You got these physical buttons to control your HVAC or your AC controls, which is nice. It is a single zone automatic climate control, uh, no dual zone right here, but you do have a wireless charging pad and uh, thankfully it is of the fast charging type. It's a 15 watt wireless charger. The shifter is, seems to be integrated quite nicely, you might add, to this, uh, to this piece, this trim right here on the center console. So at first glance, you might not think of it as a shifter, but it actually is. You also have uh, these, uh, this drive mode selector here. You can select between normal, eco, and sport. Selecting through those different drive modes will give you different uh, themes on your gauge cluster as well. But if you do wish to have a different theme for a different drive mode, you can always customize that right here on the, on the control panel. Now you've got this huge glass roof. I said glass roof because it's definitely not a sunroof. It doesn't open up like other crossover SUVs out there, but as you can see, it just keeps on going until the back. So you got this huge expanse of a, a glass roof right there, which is, uh, which is all right for me. I actually prefer having a, a solid roof instead of having a sunroof because it get, keeps the car more rigid. You might think it might not affect the driving dynamics of a vehicle, but a sunroof actually does, especially those, uh, especially those other crossover SUVs out there. You can feel that it, the, it actually affects the body roll. But in this car right here, it's just, I love it. I really love it. Now, a few things about the uh, touchscreen infotainment system. You can change your vehicle settings right here. So th the uh, customization options on the Chang'an Unity are almost, almost unlimited. But my favorite part is the DVR function. DVR means digital video recorder. It records everything in front and the side and in the back. It's very helpful. In an event of a collision, you just hit this button right here and then it saves a few seconds before and a few seconds after. So basically 15 seconds before and 15 seconds after you hit that button, it's gonna keep that in an archive and you can use that for whatever purpose you wanna use it for. So you got an electronic parking brake and automatic brake hold here as well. And a this nifty feature right here, automatic parking. All right, so in order to initiate self parking, just click on this button right here. It says it's, it's a P with a steering wheel. Move forward to find space. It's gonna tell you to move forward to find space. It's gonna give you this prompt right here. So there it is. It's found a space right here to park our car. So there you go, that's how it's gonna look like. So all you need to do right now is click on that space and then park begin. Park begin. Release brake pedal and steering wheel. I now have released the brake pedals and the steering wheel. Parking automatically. It's gonna start to park automatically, see? Look, ma, no hands. My foot is still not on the brake pedal. It's just right on top of it, just in case anything happens. Parking completed. Parking completed. There you go. <laughs> that's amazing. All right, so that's enough of that. Let's take a look at the rear. And uh, I want to show you a few stuff that's in the back. All right, so right here in the back of the Chang'an Unity, I was surprised with the amount of space that I have here. I was actually expecting this roof line to be a problem because of how raked it is. But to be honest, as I'm sitting right here, I still have a lot of room for my head. I don't understand how some people might have might have problems with this. Probably if they're taller than me, I'm five foot ten and a half. Maybe some other taller people might have problems, but as it stands right now, it's fine. You even have a center armrest right here. The seats are, are, are actually well padded. They're actually better padded than the seats that you have right here on front. So I still have a AC vent here in the back and one USB port. You won't find any 12 volt sockets anywhere here in the cabin. I was hoping to find a 12 volt socket because I have one of those fast charging ones, but there's nowhere to be found. There is a 12 volt socket right here in the back, but 
you, you're gonna have to have an extra long cable just to put it right there and then snake its way all the way up front it could be good for the rear passengers but if you're a front passenger and you want to fast charge your phone you'd be out of luck on that one let's take the Chang'an unity out on the drive i want to show you a few things that makes this really different and make it stand out from the rest of the uh, compact crossover suv all right so we're now behind the wheel of the Chang'an uni t under the hood you've got a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine that makes 180 horsepower and 300 let's say that again 300 newton mirrors of torque controlled by a seven speed dual clutch transmission and all the power goes to the front wheels the highlight of this car for me is the suspension you got mcpherson struts up front and an independent suspension out in the back and it's made into uh to shocks and springs that seem to be uh seem to be more tuned for not just for comfort but for sportiness the nvh levels here when it comes to noise it's fine it's well insulated vibration it's one of the smoothest uh transmissions and engines I, I've, I've ever driven in this segment but with harshness though uh especially going through imperfect roads yeah those wheels will be a problem fuel economy in the Chang'an unity it's kind of weird for me because because of how powerful the engine is and how great it, the suspension is I, I actually expected this car to have uh, to have lackluster fuel economy much like performance cars but to my surprise around the city in moderate traffic yeah regular city traffic you get around nine to ten kilometers per liter which is insane and when you get out on the highway it comes around 15 to 16 kilometers per liter which again is nothing short of amazing especially with how how you feel about the vehicle All right so safety features in the Chang'an unity include of course you got your pre your mandatory multiple airbags you got abs with electronic brake force distribution you got stability control you got downhill assist system you got hill hold assist and then of course the advanced driver assist systems you got adaptive cruise control you got lane keep assist lane departure warning and you got a this nifty 360 degree surround view camera which also doubles as a 360 degree dash cam that's right you heard that right 360 degree dash cam you also got multiple sensors up front and in the back as well as on the side right so you're definitely in one of the safest cars uh, in the market right now and it's definitely one of the safest cars i've ever driven especially in this price point so i i'll tell you how how sensitive those sensors are so there's just going to be a motorcycle running right by you they can al already sense that and then check this out on the advanced driver assist system on the digital gauge cluster you can actually see uh an estimate of what's in front of you you can see motorcycles you can see blobs you can see blocks you can even detect there's a there's a bus or there's going to be a truck in front of you you can see some ghostly apparitions right there and it's also going to show you how far they are from you at the moment again just a quick disclaimer, the best driving system, of course, it will still be yourself. So make sure that you attend to the uh, system every now and then, at all times, not just every now and then, at all times. These are just but uh, convenience tools for you to use. But if you are not confident enough, make sure that you have your foot on the brake, your hands on the wheel at all times, still at all times. Pricing for the Chang'an Unity starts at 1 million. 679,000 pesos. I know what you're thinking right now. That's pretty that's pretty pricey especially for a 1.5 liter turbocharged crossover SUV from Chang'an of all brands. They have the gumption to charge 1 1,679,000 for this car. That's insane, right? When you have other options available to you. But here's the thing. It may be charged a little higher, but because of doing so, because of them doing so, they were able to design this car, and it looks nothing like any other car on the road right now. Now, I can't tell you how many times I've experienced uh, some people looking at this car, wondering if it's a, a premium Japanese brand car, and it's just, it's just something else. Look at it. Video and pictures don't do this car justice so if you're in the market if you've got the budget 1,679,000 pesos for for this car 
I, I gotta say, you're not going to experience buyer's remorse in this one. I can tell you this early on. I'm definitely gonna put this in my short list, and you, I think you guys should too, and you'd be a fool not to. And that's my review of the Chang'an Unity. The Chang'an Unity might be priced quite up there, especially when compared to other compact crossover SUVs in this segment, but hey, you've got something different, you got something that really performs well, and yes, I think in my book, it really is definitely worth it. If you're thinking about getting this car, head on over to zigwheels.ph. And you know what? Drop me a comment in the comment section down below. And while you're at it, subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification icon so you wouldn't miss any of our videos. Thanks so much for watching. This is Roy Robles from zigwheels.ph. I'll see you guys next time.